How to make a 3D platformer in Unity Part 3 Player Jump In the previous video I was working on how to fix the look rotation problem. As you can see, the player keeps the look rotation after releasing arrow keys. To summarize the tutorial, I forgot to add the part where I was adding a cube that presents the look rotation. When I hit space on the keyboard, the player cannot jump. Let's look how to add the jump script to the player. Go to Visual Studio. Define a public float variable. Jump speed. Define the private Y speed of the player jump speed. The Y speed variable should be equal to physics gravity of the Y axis multiplied by time dot delta time. If input get button down jump. Jump is the space key on your keyboard. And in this statement we defined what happens if we press the space button. Y speed equal to minus 1.5. Vector 3, well. Move direction multiplied by magnitude of the player movement. Well dot y is equal to y speed and we translate according to the rigid body of the player. These three lines of code transform the velocity into the rigid body of the player, allowing our player to jump. Unfortunately, we have a jumping bug, we need to fix it somehow. Remove rigid body and add character controller. Now we need a character controller which is private. I will call it con, you can call it whatever you want. Define it in the void start that the character controller needs to get component from the original character. It makes your player move smoothly and it fixes the problems with climbing on the slopes. Now let's move to the part of the script to implement it. Con Simple move this line of code defines a simple move by character controller. It includes move direction multiplied with magnitude and the speed of the player. Now, after Y speed, we need to move the character with velocity. Bell multiplied by time dot delta time. My player still didn't want to jump, so I will look to fix the problem. Private bull is grounded. Use this boolean variable to define if the player touches the ground, if con is grounded. Y speed is equal to minus 1.5. Is grounded becomes true, but if you press space button, which is jump, Y speed becomes jump speed and the player isn't on ground is grounded false save the script and go back to unity when you hit space on your keyboard the player can jump perfect but there's a problem the is grounded variable should be false when you hit space button and the variable is grounded is assigned, but its value is never used. To fix that, you should change private to public bool. Go back to Unity and test. Now the character is jumping without any issues. Perfect. You can play with the variables and set jump speed to whatever you want. I will be making new videos every Monday. Stay tuned. Goodbye.